Welcome to week 13 of the college football season, where the number 5, 8-1 Oklahoma Sooners, coming off of a big win against Iowa State, are taking on the unranked 3-7 Kansas State Wildcats. Kansas State is obviously struggling this year, and there you see the conference standings as Texas is still undefeated, and we will have to see if they lose to Baylor or if someone else can upset them the rest of the season if OU still wants to win the Big 12. But today, OU needs to focus on Kansas State or they could end up with a loss. So now Jake Waters comes out in shotgun on first and 10. Handoff to Robinson. Robinson to the outside, shoves off a tackler. Brought down seven-yard game by Demarcus Robinson. And now on second and three, Waters back in shotgun. He takes the snap. He throws to the outside. It's caught by Davis, and he's got the first down. Andre Davis with the four-yard gain on that play. Now on first and 10, Waters drops back. He moves out to his right side. He can run, but he decides to throw and find Sexton. And he is going to flip Julian Wilson off the stiff arm. That's a 24-yard gain for Curry Sexton. And that's his first catch of the day. Second and 13, Waters is going to run at this time. He makes a man miss. And Waters is going to break a tackle. And he's almost got a first down, a 12-yard gain to bring up third and one. And now Waters hands off to Robinson. This Sooner defense was very, very soft on third down last week. And they just let up another first down this week. Third and eight, Waters in shotgun. Waters takes the snap, and he's got all day to throw. He throws and finds Size Love, who was then brought down four-yard gain to bring up fourth and four, and they would bring out the field goal unit. And at about a 45-yard attempt, the kick is up and good. So Kansas State draws first blood, but now Oklahoma will get the ball back, and we will see a studio update as Baylor has just edged out Oklahoma State 38-37. This is what Trevor Knight did last week, 12 of 21, 285 yards and two TDs against Iowa State. Now second and two, Trevor Knight play action. The Sooner offense is going to come out and try to get off to a hot start, and Trevor Knight overthrows his receiver by about five yards, and that will bring up third and two for the Sooners. So on third and two, Trevor Knight takes the snap from shotgun, throws caught by Micaiah Quick, and Micaiah Quick with a 17-yard gain down the middle of the field. Now on first and ten, Trevor Knight in shotgun. Play action to Keith Ford. Knight has no time to throw. Brought down, loss of eight. Sacked by Devin Nash. So now second and 18, Trevor Knight takes a snap from shotgun. Rolls out to his right side. He throws at the last second. Caught by Makai Quick, who makes a man miss. Quick down inside the 30. And brought down about the 22-yard line. A 41-yard gain by Makai Quick. Third and five, Trevor Knight takes the snap, and he is going to be hit as he tries to throw. Fourth and 13, and that would force the Sooners to bring out the field goal unit. Michael Honeycutt comes out for a very long field goal try, and the kick is away, and it is good. Three to three, and this game is all tied up. Now we'll get another studio update as we see Ole Miss is beating number three, Missouri. And we have to keep an eye on that game because we are number five and we're trying to get back into the top two if we want a chance at the championship. And now Waters sits back in the pocket, throws, and that's picked off by LJ Moore. Moore is across the 20, 15, 10, 5, dives, fumbled the ball out of bounds at the one-yard line. Now third and goal after a couple stops. Trevor Knight pitches back to Keith Ford, and Ford will then walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And they have their first lead of the day up 10-3 over Kansas State. That last drive was set up by the interception. So we'll see if this defense can do it again. But they're running the ball here. And that's a 14-yard gain for the Kansas State Wildcats. Now on second and three, Waters will do a read option. He's going to keep it himself. Pitches back to Robinson at the last second. And Demarcus Robinson gets a first down. Seven carries, 31 yards. Now first and 10, Waters under center. It's going to hand off to Robinson again. He is going to be met by Frank Shannon, but he gets a six-yard gain, dragging Shannon through most of it, and that was huge. So second and four, Waters in shotgun, and he's going to be hit, but somehow gets the pitch away, but he is brought down short of the first down to bring up another third down for this Sooner defense. Kansas State comes out in pistol, hand off to Robinson, and he's going to get it easily. A three-yard gain. The Sooner defense cannot stop the offense on third and short situations. Now on the next play on first down, he throws a pick to Quentin Hayes. Quentin Hayes is at the 40, and no one's going to catch him. This is a huge moment in the game, as that is his second interception 
This one was actually returned for a touchdown as LJ Moores was only returned back to the one. But now we have to see how Waters responds to that. Second and ten, he comes back out, hands off to Robinson. And Robinson is brought down about an inch short of the first down line. So third and inch to see if the defense can stop them here. And he pitches back to Demarcus Robinson, who's got the first down. Once again on third and short, they convert for it. Waters four for eight of passing and two picks up to this point. First and ten, he's going to do a play action. Waters sitting in the pocket, throws deep, and that is caught by Tyler Lockett, a 25-yard gain. Second and three, Jake Waters in shotgun, takes the snap, and he's going to be hit as he pitches, but gets the pitch off, and he is dragged out at the one-yard line. He was horse-collared, but as I've stated in previous videos, that is not a penalty in this. First and goal, Waters is going to do a read option, keep himself, touchdown Jake Waters, and that makes it 17 to 10. But Oklahoma is still in the lead, and now Trevor Knight and the Sooners will have the ball back. And now Kansas State lines up for the kickoff, and back deep to return, I believe, is Sterling Shepard. Inside the five, he's going to catch about the three-yard line. Shepard across the 20, down the sideline, across the 40, across the 50. Maybe the offense won't need to touch the field. They actually will as he's tripped up a 58-yard return, but they start with the ball in Kansas State territory. First and 10, Trevor Knight in pistol. It's going to be a read option. Knight's going to keep it himself. Juke out a few people, break a tackle, but then get absolutely leveled. But a 13-yard gain, and he still has negative rushing yards today. First and 10, Trevor Knight takes the snap. Knight sits in the pocket, throws, finds Dorio Green Beckham. First down OU after an 11-yard gain. Good pitch and catch there by Knight and Beckham. First and 10, Trevor Knight is going to be a read option. Knight fighting and has the first down after getting flipped. An 11-yard gain for Trevor Knight and another Sooner first down on this drive. First and goal, Trevor Knight in goal line formation. Handoff to Keith Ford. No, it's a play action. He throws, and that is a touchdown for Islana. I honestly don't know how to say his name. He's our backup tight end, and he got a touchdown. That's all we need to know. 24-10. Kansas State now has to come up with something huge. Waters under pressure, throws deep, and somehow that play worked to Curry Sexton for a 25-yard gain. I've watched that play several times. I don't know how it worked. Second and one. Waters going to hand off to Robinson. And Robinson up the middle. And he's got a 13-yard gain. As he has just gashed this entire Sooners defense today. 13 carries, 80 yards so far. And now he hands off to Robinson again. And he's got another decent gain. A 9-yard gain this time. And I don't know why they're even attempting to throw the ball, really. As this running back is just demolishing the Sooners. Now on second and one, Waters. It's going to be a read option. He's going to keep it himself, and he's got the first down before getting brought down after a two-yard gain. And the mascot is really hyped up as Julian Wilson made the tackle. Second and nine, Waters is going to do another read option. He rolls out to his right, and he's going to break a tackle. And Jake Waters gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State. It looks like they're trying to match OU point for point. But that pick six could be a huge turning point by the end of this game. Now on first and ten, Knight hands off to Ford. Ford up the middle, breaking a tackle, and that's a seven-yard gain on that play. And Ford now has five carries for 19 yards, not really running the ball a lot today. Now on third and three, Trevor Knight takes the snap, throws to Shepard, and Shepard fights for it and gets the first down. A six-yard gain and a sooner first down. First and ten for Trevor Knight. Knight drops back in from the pistol formation, going deep, and he's got... Doriel Green Beckham inside the 10, a 45-yard gain. Six for eight, 125 yards, and a touchdown for Knight. Now first and goal, Trevor Knight throws to the end zone, caught by Jordan Smallwood, touchdown Oklahoma, and that will put Oklahoma up 31-17 over Kansas State, and now we have to see how Kansas State responds with 44 seconds to go. Waters takes the snap. He sits in the pocket. He throws deep, and that is intercepted by Quentin Hayes. And that, I believe, is his third interception of the half as he is then brought down after he tried to make a play but really couldn't get anywhere after that. Quentin Hayes with his second pick on the day. Now second and ten for Trevor Knight and the Sooners. Knight drops back. Knight goes deep, and that is going to be caught by Green Beckham in the end zone. Touchdown OU. Just like that, they are now up 38-17 to over Kansas State. Turnovers have killed them today. And now 24 seconds to go in the half. Waters hands off to Robinson. They could very well be done throwing this half as Robinson fights and gets a very good gain. 
a 21-yard gain, trying to just keep some sort of momentum going before halftime. Now on second and 10, under 20 seconds to go, they're going to throw the ball. Waters throws, and that is picked off by Cortez Johnson. Why are they still trying to throw the ball? That is four interceptions thrown by Jake Waters in just the first half. We will see if the Sooner defense can keep it up in the next half. Hopefully they can because it has so far been very entertaining. Now on first and ten to start the second half. Trevor Knight, read option, going to keep it himself. He's got decent blocking, and he's got a first down to open the half, a 13-yard gain. That's one way to come out of the locker room. Nine carries, 15 yards for Trevor Knight. And now Knight hands off to Keith Ford. Ford up the middle. He's breaking a tackle but spun down a seven-yard gain for Keith Ford. And that's six carries, 26 yards, and a touchdown for Ford today. Second and three, Knight. Hand off to Ford again. Ford to the outside. He's got a good run here. And that is his longest run of the day, I believe. A 15-yard gain puts him at 41 yards total for the day. Now on second and ten, Trevor Knight in shotgun takes the snap. Knight sitting in the pocket, throws, caught by Green Beckham. He's inside the 20, brought down about the 18-yard line. That's a 24-yard gain for Green Beckham. Four catches, 116 yards, and a touchdown. Now on third and two, Trevor Knight sitting in the pocket, rolls out to his right side. He throws, and that's going to be tipped away. Bring up fourth and two for the Sooners, and they would bring out Michael Honeycutt once again. The last field goal was a 43-yarder. This one just a chip shot compared to that. And it is good to go up 41-14, or 41-17, sorry. We get another studio update. As it looks like Ole Miss is going to beat Missouri 27-17, and that really should help OU in the rankings. Now in first and 10, Waters takes the snap. He throws, and that's going to be caught by Sexton, and he is then forced out of bounds. A 22-yard gain. Maybe they finally have something going on the passing game this half. Now on second and four, Waters takes the snap again, throws, caught by Lockett, and that was kind of a weird designed play, but it worked. 11 of 18 today from Jake Waters. Waters drops back again, throws, and that's going to be picked off by Frank Shannon, and Shannon's going to try to take this to the house. Across the 20, 10, 5, brought down at the one-yard line by Jake Waters. Five interceptions today from Jake Waters. And now on the next play, Trevor Knight takes the snap, pitches back to Keith Ford. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And that would bring up 48 to 17. I about said 14 again. 48 to 17, Oklahoma over Kansas State. And right there, he is sacked for a loss of eight. And this Sooner defense has played tremendous today, most of the game. Now second and 18, Waters drops back, and he's under pressure, throws deep, and that pass is almost intercepted by Zach Sanchez. Sanchez wanted to get on the fun, but couldn't hold on to it. Third and 18. And now Waters in shotgun. He drops back again. He throws to the outside, and it's going to be dropped by LJ Moore. Two passes in a row that should have been picked, but were just dropped. So now OU has the ball up 48-17. Game's pretty much over, barring a miracle, as Trevor Knight will get it and run it up the middle. Trevor Knight into Kansas State territory, brought down at about the 35-yard line. Trevor Knight with a huge gain there. Third and 16, Knight takes the snap. Trevor Knight looking deep, and he's got Austin Bennett. And Austin Bennett just fought for his himself into the end zone. 55-17. And there is the last studio update. Ole Miss takes down Missouri 27-17. So it looks like OU is going to win, and we should at least move up to number four in the rankings. Now first and ten, Jake Waters takes the snap from shotgun. Waters throws, and that's going to be caught by Davis, who goes out of bounds. Andre Davis, 13-yard gain. Now on second and nine, Waters is trying to keep some sort of dignity in this half, too. Now he throws to Andre Davis again who somehow doesn't go out of bounds, but a 23-yard gain. And now nearing the end of the third quarter, Jake Waters in pistol takes the snap. He throws, and that's caught by Andre Davis, who breaks a tackle, and that's a 24-yard gain on that play. Now on first and 10, Jake Waters in shotgun. Hands off to Robinson, who goes up the middle, makes a man miss, and touchdown Kansas State. The reason they weren't running the ball all day, I don't know. And now nearing the end of the third quarter, Trevor Knight takes the snap, and Knight's going to run it to his left side, and he's got a good gain on that one, a 12-yard gain by Trevor Knight. Now in the fourth quarter, up 55-24, to Trevor Knight comes out, and Knight's rolling out to his right side, and he is going to be sat to bring up third and 22 for the Sooners. 
Not really looking good for the line that play. On third and 22, Knight takes the snap with about six and a half minutes to go. Throws caught by Shepard, who's brought down short of the first down. Fourth and three. But the Sooners decide to go for it, and he throws it out to Deron Neal, who has the first down, a three-yard gain. They're just trying to milk the clock to get this game over with. Now on third and inches with about four minutes to go. Hand off to Keith Ford. He's got the first down, and that's a nine-yard gain for Keith Ford today, and that puts him at 16 carries for 73 yards. First and 10 on the next play. Trevor Knight rolls out to his right side. And Knight's going to keep it himself. He's going to run, and he is leveled. But a 13-yard gain as they get another first down as they are still just trying to milk some clock. With a minute to go, or two minutes to go, about a minute and a half, Knight throws to the end zone, and that is caught by Sterling Shepard. Completely unnecessary to throw that ball, but I guess Bob Stoops just wanted to. 62-24. to And now with under 30 seconds to go after a Kansas State three and out, Keith Ford gets the carry, and that will put him over 100 yards rushing on the day, I believe. 20, No, he gets 17 carries for 94 yards. Trevor Knight played, I believe, his best football game of the year today, and that will be our fifth consecutive win with it. Next game is against Oklahoma State, and you will see where we move to in the rankings. See if we move to number three, four, two, one, any one of those as Ole, as Ole Miss beat Missouri and yeah this this game was incredible five interceptions we, we did allow 24 points but we also put up 62 so I hope you enjoyed this episode please come back the next one whenever we play Oklahoma State in the Bedlam game in another pretty much must win game all of these are must win games so hopefully you enjoyed this episode and please come back for the next one